Hey y'all, Tom, ND3N here with the final installation of the Grid Tracker series. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at the Grid Tracker map and what you can do to customize it and make it your own. The Grid Tracker map is a powerful segment of the Grid Tracker software as a whole. Even though this is the last in this particular series, if there's something that you would really like to see, please let me know down in the comments. That must be how they heard your voice. Now on with the show. As I mentioned before, this is a continuation of our study into Grid Tracker. And this time we're going to be looking specifically at the map. We're going to start by looking at these little squares all over. These are your four digit Maidenhead Grid locators and they are color coded and here's the legend for that color code and we're going to be looking for people calling CQ which is this green right here so we got one right here in Cuba over here in California and one right up here in Iowa now you can change these colors so we're going to go to our settings this little gear icon pop that open and we're in the grids setup I'm going to click on CQ, which as you can see is set to the screen, and I'm going to go ahead and change it, and you can watch these stations calling CQ change color. You'll also see the change color in the legend. And put it back to our green, and that's how you change the color code. And you can do the same thing with everything else. And that's how you change the color coding on your grid squares. A quick break to give you the chance to rest your eyes from the busy map and to ask you to help out the YouTube algorithm by popping that thumbs up icon and giving me a like. Oh, I like that. Now we're going to go take a look at the map itself. Again, in our settings. And right up here, you've current map. I've got topographical by Esri in English. That's the map I like to use, but you can change it if you want. So I'm going to change it here to this open street map, and you can see you get a different map in the background. There are a lot of them. I haven't counted them, but I'm going to go back to Topographical by Esri, which is the one I like to use. Next, we've got this button right here, Animate Active Paths, and you can turn those on or off. So you see, I've just turned off the animation completely on these QSX lines, and these indicate conversations currently in progress. We'll turn that back on, and you can change your speed. You can change the color. So let's take them up to a blue, or purple, or red. You can see that their, their colors are changing. And let me get them back down here to black. And you can also change the width of them. So you can really bring them out if that's something that you want to see. I like having them as background information, so I keep them pretty small. Now you'll notice that I, there's a red line around North America. That's because somebody down here is calling CQ North America. And if that irritates you, you can always turn them off right there, CQ highlighting. Another short break to ask you to help me get the word out about this and other videos of mine by sharing. I'd be happy to share it with you. With your friends and cohorts in the amateur radio community, especially on social media. Now let's finish this up. I'm going to start by zooming this out. And the reason is I wanted to show you that we have the gray line. And I'm going to go back to my settings. I'm going to show you gray line darkness. You can darken up your gray line if you want. You can take it all the way up. I like leaving it down to where I know it's there. Also, the overall brightness of the map. I've got it as bright as it will go. But you can turn that down to just very, very little. And one more thing that I'm going to do. I'm going to enable my TX. So I'm going to go through a cycle of calling CQ. Time travel, time travel. These are reports from PSK Reporter. This is my location right here. And if I come out here and go over to the circle, I can see that VE9UN actually spotted me 
on PSK Reporter. That's an automated thing inside WSJTX, and if you're interested, go look up my WSJTX settings, and you'll find them there. But back to our settings here, and you can see that I can change the color of those spots if I want to. Again, I like them as advisories, so I leave them a color that's not going to overwhelm the map, but that I can look and see that they're there. I can also change my spot width. I can thicken them up or take them down to nothing. So we'll leave them right about here. And one more thing you can do, you can zoom in on your QSO. And I'm going to go fit map to QRZ. So I'm going to attempt to contact somebody here. I've got a POTA station right here. So I'm going to try to contact him. And you can see I've zoomed in. If he comes back to me, then I will see my QSX line. Okay, so now here, here he is. Uh, he's down here in Texas. And you can see that my screen has zoomed in on him. And we'll go ahead and complete this QSO. Time travel. And that's completed. But you saw the zoom in and zoom out. That's nice, but I like to keep a little bit more situational awareness. So I'm going to turn fit map to QRZ off. And that completes the review of the map. Now there's a few things that I didn't mention. It's simply because I don't use them. Out of sight, out of mind. The Merriam-Webster Dictionary defines gestalt as something that is made up of many parts and yet is somehow more than or different from the combination of its parts. A more familiar term that is broadly misused in the modern business world is synergy or synergism, which again, according to Merriam-Webster, is a mutually and advantageous conjunction or compatibility of distinct business participants or elements such as resource or efforts. That's a mouthful. Grid Tracker is the epitome of these terms, and when combined with WSJTX, a logging program such as the HRD Logbook, Log4OM, N3FJP, N1MM, or many, many others, it can turn your digital communication systems into a powerhouse larger than the sum of its parts. I hope that you've enjoyed and learned from this video and the Grid Tracker series as much as I've enjoyed putting them together for your viewing pleasure. Please remember to like, share, comment, and please consider subscribing to this channel. 73 until the next Hey Y'all. As always, I'm at your service. I'm Tom. ND3N, just like it says on the hat, and I am out. I'll never get used to that.